with the cards. I got you. So we're going to clear the air to ensure that we're getting the best reading possible. The best message is coming through as possible. So that's what we want today. So we're ready. So this might take a while, but I hope it don't go for more than 15 minutes. So let's get started. So first we're going to deal with Cancerian females. So this reading I specifically want it to be for Cancerian females, but if it applies to the males, wonderful. Right, so we're gonna talk about your mental state, Cancerians. What you're going through, um, so you have a bit of clarity. Um, if you want to make a decision right now, but you're not sure which way to go, so this is for you, Cancerian females, that need a bit of strength and guidance right now in this time. So energy, please reveal yourself to me. Um, what can we do right now? All right, so two cards beautiful this card i love to see um this means that we're coming together with love for our, ourselves it could have mean that we're literally getting an offering of love from somebody else we're coming together with union it could be a soulmate card as well like again you're going to come together with somebody that is your soulmate that will bring love to you or it could mean that um, you need to be focusing on loving who you are right now, putting a lot of your attention on yourself right now to give this love to yourself. Because maybe if you're in a place where you're not really giving yourself the attention, but you're, you're giving other people this beautiful love that you have to offer. And it's maybe being wasted. But um, So the cards are saying, love yourself. Focus on loving yourself. This is a union. So it, as I said, it can be a union coming together, two people coming together in love with you and another person. Or if you're not looking for love with another person, it just can be you just giving this beautiful, like soulmate kind of love to yourself. It is really needed in this time. So take it. It is yours. Go inside of yourself and find a way to love. There are so many ways to love yourself. Right, so 2020, even 2018 to 2020 for me was about self-love, realization, realizing who you are, right? And um, cutting out what's no longer serving you. All right, so I'm taking this out of the way. I just received another card. So this is three. It's like cutting out and focusing on a certain direction. So this is the three of. Okay, I'll soon. All right, so I soon come back to the tree. So let me do the nine first. For me, the ones represent wish fulfillment, desires, passion, fertility, creativity, abundance, joy, flourishing. Anything you have to do with luck. Um, you, you see that it is also a clover. So it represents luck, bringing in luck and life to your life. So I feel like um, you're on a path. You're heading your direction to give yourself some love, and it is it is it is driven and backed by a certain passion or desire. Um, that is no a new a new like you're coming to a climax of a older kind of love, a older kind of energy that maybe you were giving all of this creativity maybe in the wrong direction, right? So that is what this tree was feeling like to me giving something in another direction but no trying to focus your energy in in a certain you know, direction which will serve you and now see at the bottom of this deck here we have the four of hearts which is the twin flame energy which is coming together um union it can represent 11 11 you know which is four um so this is a com this is really a union because i was saying this is this is possible a union with yourself you loving yourself fully completely this year you're just deciding to give all of this attention all this beautiful creativity that you are because cancerians are creative people you know especially if you're left-handed you're very creative you know how to take your hand and make fashion right or turn your hand and make fashion you know how to create something out of nothing and you've been doing that maybe in your past relationships that weren't serving you seem like they were going nowhere over the place 
and somehow maybe we're feeling a bit stuck in the middle because all of this energy was going to a place that it was stuck so now it is time you see this come up again the two of hearts the four of hearts now it is time for you to really focus this all of these fertile because you're a mother sign your earth sign you're caring you're nurturing as i said fertility representing the soil which is um fertile soil virile if you're a guy you're virile you know you, you can produce a lot of sperms or not you know a lot of seed for the earth as well um but i said this is a female reading so you're you're very beautiful creative you're blooming flowering all of this beautiful energy you are focusing in in the wrong direction i think and so it came back here to tell you or to tell me to tell you to focus this energy toward yourself internally so you might be looking for some type of a soulmate but it's coming back down it's always going to come back to you and yourself because you can't love somebody without loving yourself in that way first so give all of this this charm this luck this grace um, this this wealth, this beauty that you are with, this healing energy, this passion, desire that you are to yourself first. Keep it in your heart space first and then it will attract to you a love so unlike anything you've ever experienced before. It's like the, the literal match of you because two and two is four. Right, so give that love to yourself, and then if you're if you're a t if you're a Cancerian female that's looking for love outside of yourself, you need a partner because we love to express ourselves as Cancerians. You know, we love love, we love giving and sharing and being spontaneous and all of that. So we we are bound to attract a partner that we can share that, that, that with, right? But maybe that's not right. No, maybe you were giving an energy that was going in the wrong direction because you were somehow uncertain. Of a person there was certain a, a, a miss clarity so the universe is actually coming in and guiding you to love yourself give this energy to yourself right now that's what we're doing in 2020 we're gonna get one more card give me another card and then I'm going to ask for just a bit of clarifiers but this really sums it up for me is just those just stop focusing Stop focusing. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? Stop. This card came out. <laughs> Stop putting your focus on things when I serve you. It's not serving you. Don't do it no more. Let's cut it out. And you see, we get three times three is nine. And you see the trees between two nines. So if this is the nine of fertility, creativity, creativity um um luck charm passion anything one for the things grow growing wealth and all of that is something this nine represents i feel it is um coming to the end of some type of a roadblock um where it's like this just was not going anywhere this love wasn't reaching to a, it was somehow at a standstill three times three nine one in the same it is saying to me like all over the place kind of energy which needs to be garnered and focused toward yourself if i if i should put the four parts on the board please present it to me again so that cancer can visualize this four of hearts where she needs to put her energy all right, so we got two cards coming out here. Wow, all right, so we get the focus energy. And then we get this six of creativity. Where Cancer needs to put her energy. Where Cancer needs to put her energy. What have I been saying? What may I say, right? Cancer needs to put her energy. So for me, so we, ah, I asked for the four cards to come back. Um, It's here. This card... All right, so the speed for me represents foundation, groundedness, stability, anything that makes you feel grounded and stable. But this groundedness and stability that you were looking for by putting out this love and this fertility that we are sharing with everybody else, 
and your woman womanness it was going in a various different directions it wasn't serving you and so it just is almost like you were living in sort of a cycle that was unserving to you so now we come back with the queen of spades we also call her the queen of wands which means she's literally keeping her flower maybe her love or passion her desires away maybe she's guarding it because she's protect she's now realizing that this wasn't really going anywhere in this time so she's not she's protecting herself she's keeping her love for herself here you know really looking to focus on creating more dreams because the, the clubs the luck card we're talking about the symbols here represent luck fertility dreams magic creativity fertility anything like related creativity magic fertility manifestations so she's definitely and you see she's looking toward the four of hearts here she's definitely looking more intently now to focus on something that, that will bring her out her greatest passion in this time something that will make her feel good in herself make her feel like it's worth it something worthwhile she's focusing on she is grabbing onto her flower she does know how valuable her flower is which her flower can represent her love um the passion that she has to offer so she's really looking forward to taking it away from this unserving energy here up here which was really not going anywhere and focusing it toward the four of hearts which is coming up again something that will be deserving of her energy so she's really and the queen is one of the highest cards in the deck right so in this time she's really like focusing she's really not putting up with crap right now um so she really i think about our best self she's going inside of herself i think and this is what i'm doing for myself to protect my flower protect my my youth my fertility my wisdom to per to protect my my money my sense my my sanity whatever it is that she's guarding here this is what she's defending and she's focusing on something that is serving her and she's leaving something behind to focus now on something better for herself and what is better for herself is wish fulfillment and desires what she wants to come into place and it seems like she's really desiring for a soulmate connection which somebody we can understand her truest deepest purest form of self it's like a reflection of who she truly is because you see that the height of her is her love as a cancer your beautiful your most beautiful treasure is the love that you have for this planet for earth what you can do you are mother earth you are the fourth sign and the fourth you are in the heart space the fourth sign is the heart space the heart chakra is the fourth sign of the chakra system right so she's really trying to focus on her heart center so that she can manifest better for herself because what was up here i keep repeating that was block it seems blocking right so even though she she really was focusing on building stability with um with all that she was putting out and creating it was all over the place and not really intentional so now she's becoming really intentional here focusing see that it's like she's looking through a mirror focusing on what she desires like a straight tunnel vision focus seriously ain't no no joke and i come in and mess up my flower i'm holding on to my treasures nobody not come in and mess this up right so she's now using her creativity because as cancers were very intuitive creatures very intuitive so she's using her magic her, you know her passion her desires her fertility um, her creativity maybe she's starting she has started some new business a new venture that she's manifesting in this time and she's really focusing on growing and developing this business and we're going to look to see um what it will come out to be so you notice also that the six and nine is opposite of one another so before this focus was maybe going in a direction that was stuck not going anywhere coming back to the same thing now she's trying to focus to somewhere that will come out better so let's see excited right oh so we're gonna see where it's gonna come out to be now we have the ace um of creative so she's like the master creator right now master creator creating 
more wealth and abundance, more ideas of fulfillment in her life. This for me represents just a lot of creative ideas to put into place. Um, so she's really focused. So as I said, maybe she has created businesses that she's looking to grow. And I see here that it has been established something that she was working on. It's like she focused on her dreams and visions. It manifested into being. And then it is it is um giving her a lot in return to look on. And this is going to create for her more desires to be. I don't know if she's look. I said maybe she's looking for wealth. Could be relationship or wealth. All right. So this is new desires. New desires coming through. So, all right. So she she's on her path doing her thing. You know. Now I focus on herself. So now she has new, brand new ideas, new desires, new passions coming in because the one represents new beginning of new desires for herself. She's really mastering her own destiny right now, being the alchemist of her life, using whatever bad stuck situation here to really play in her life to make it more fulfilling. And then she's, she's created one thing and she feels like an abundance of creative spirit and energy coming through her. A lot of luck and charm, a lot of, a lot of creative energy flowing through her, right? So there's new beginnings because once you close a chapter in your life, you're opening up to new beginnings, new ideas, newness. Maybe newness in love, newness in career. Let's see. It could be both for her, but it is real exciting that she's really focusing on herself so this represents she um she's been working to create love so you can see so that love is not fake it's not a love that someone will be able to take away from her this love that she's focusing on giving to herself it cannot go away because this is something that is like hammered it has been carved and paved into her into herself because it is worth it she realized it is worth it and so she was really practicing um physically giving herself love maybe she's eating better you going outside breathing more she's doing the things taking action to prove to herself that she loves herself so the attention that she was giving elsewhere she's now focusing it on herself you know telling herself um better things um you know but affirmations whatever so she's physically doing the work to manifest this love for herself so the new beginnings is um a new type of love for herself wow all right next card that flew out it fell on the floor so i had to pause and take it up is the three of diamonds diamonds represents money and this means to me that because she's now focusing on a new adventure of really giving herself really shoveling that dirt to put in the work to love who she is where she belongs where you know establishing herself as i'm the queen i am the master of my destiny this love is creating a new sense of wealth for her she is literally being guided to create new money for herself so she can sustain herself so maybe whatever did i keep her trapped in the past that was allowing her to be focusing or her energy in the wrong place um maybe it was sort of a codependent situation you know where she's focusing her energy giving back thinking that this is how i can give back to someone that's doing for me she's now putting all of that dream wish fulfillment into herself she's like tapping into who she is her real power and she's like i'm a creator i can do this i got this so I know she's loving herself, creating pentacles, creating money. So she's coming into her own. As I said, she created one, some kind of business up here, so which is leading to her own wealth. Mm. Next card that flew out is the two of pentacles, right? Pentacles coming in again. Represent and you notice the two borders, the two end um edges of the deck of the spread here because um so she's now partnering with well so maybe something is going to come into her maybe it is some one of her creative ideas because a partnership don't necessarily have to be with someone else 
you know it can just be an idea that you have that you've been working on that is now you and that idea working together to create some kind of a partnership two represents coming together um so she's definitely work coming together with her pen with her with her money you know she's coming into her own with her money she not gonna really need money from someone else to look after her she know is manifesting her own and she's really being guided to do so so you can see she came into partnership and she physically has and is recognizing her own sense of wealth and well-being here we're gonna get a closing spread so we're coming to the end of this reading let us get to a bit of a close thank you so much for the energy in these cards so cancer there is hope if you feel like you're still stuck up here so in this energy whoops i'm not gonna take this because there's too much if you feel like you're still stuck up here giving your energy to someone else just best believe that you're being guided so so this three is all is a guidance card Three represents guidance to me from the universe. So it's like it, you yeah, go through some hard, but there's something in you telling you that this is not working out for your best self right now. It's telling you you're great, you're very, you're much more powerful than you think. And you need to be focusing your energy on yourself so that you can serve the earth better. That's what you came here to do, to be a mother, a servant. So you put your energy in the right places right put your energy in the right places and this is what happens Re love reflects itself on you inside and out you, you build this wealth into you work hard and it reflects itself on you and because it reflects itself on you you are now trusting who you are we get the joker card trusting yourself to be guided into wealth right seven of pentacles represents to me that you've been putting in the hard work for wealth you're not just only trying to manifest wealth now but you are now a wealthy person right and i, I have here the nine of hearts which is at the tip or the peak of your self-love you know, so when you reach the peak of something, it's going to take you into a new beginning, right? A new beginning. Um, of, so there's a lot of pentacles coming up for you of wealth. So maybe you were just focusing your energy really in the wrong places, um, not really valuing yourself, knowing your self worth. But the minute you start to love yourself and know your strength, because remember, said so this. I said these these um this spade represents stability foundation so it represents strength to me so the universe is guiding you to know your strength your power this is power and you're gonna focus that power now that strength that you have garnered in yourself by focusing you're gonna focus that on creating a lot of wealth and love for yourself that's beautiful and you don't know when you create love for yourself you are you literally create love for, for everybody else that's around you this card came out as well so there's a lot of that's a lot of pentacles coming in for you because you see once you partner with the world it's gonna keep flowing because you have a lot of ideas a lot of ideas so you might have your own business or you're working for someone but you have multiple streams of income coming into you um so that's just how i see multiple streams of income yes yeah, so this is working hard establishing your boundaries knowing who you are um setting up that space so you really just focus nobody can come in disrespect you or hurt you anymore if i make a decision for yourself you know that it is to serve your best self right so we have this one now you're definitely going to create whatever foundation and stability and strength you're looking for it is definitely inside of you it is in you already right 
that's like the ace rep it is innate creative spirit flourishing fertility it is innate in you so you're literally focusing on what is already inside of you ah and then so you be, so this is the king of this sign which is creativity fertility you're literally focusing hard on your dreams and your passions maybe love later on in the future but right now i see that you're focusing on your money um love is in you innately it's saying and if it is in you it's going to come to you but i feel that right now cancer you're definitely focusing on love focusing on a lot of love for yourself like I've, remember i said you've got the you got the nine of so this is at the pinnacle the peak of love and then this is going to bring you into sort of a new beginning of love of realization of self-love which probably is going to bring you your soulmate or bring you more pentacles whatever your heart's desire so you're manifesting your heart's desire i'm going to close the reading now i think i did almost 30 minutes this is my first reading i didn't want it to be this long so closing the reading thank you so much guides thank you so <laughs> the guidance is within you know the guidance is within as above so below so you already know you already know what you're doing you already know who you are you don't have to wait for me or anybody else to tell you what you're doing you don't need validation really but this is your confirmation that you are a very creative spirit this is a fourth house again um, mother creativity fertility coming through you don't need me to tell you girl go ahead and do what you have to do to stay well to be well to feel well and to create abundance you're gonna get rid of whatever blockages blockages um or appearing up to you by just focusing focusing more intentionally on what you want to create okay so that's what i see for you now um i want to say thank you so much for coming through and if you find something helpful in this reading do let me know i'm just keep me just i keep on shuffling so if any last messages come out Hey man, thank you for coming through. If you found this helpful, do let me know. Okay. So this was a health reading for cancer, right? So if you're going through something and you don't feel like, um, you know, it's working out, as said up here, these blockages, and you need to just switch your focus focus on what is serving you somebody might be coming in with offers you know go just take every offer that comes into you you need to maintain your focus on creating the life you desire and you don't want a jack of, of love but it's 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 good you want a king to match your queenliness um so yeah man watch your back that just came true to me so there's watch your back watch your back um you know what you're doing watch your back protect your treasures it could be abstaining from doing certain things that are not serving you right now you know putting all else aside for right now until you come into your, your very beautiful own self that you want to manifest and then you got this you know then you run the world you know I see I really I love this card I love that you have money and love partnering with you if once you have these two in your center you're centered right and um, you're partnering with wealth and love for yourself so that's what I have for you I hope that this really resonates with you and you find it helpful so yeah man have faith stay strong know that the universe is guiding you to your wealth and your wish fulfillment all you need to do is hold protect your own focus on your innate creative energy because the universe has got you your your earth and as i keep saying you you create from earth it's like you're the fertile soil that is ready to grow right and yeah so 
cut off when I serve you, focus that love on yourself, go inside to know who you are, what you bring to the table, innately who you are, where nobody can really touch that space because this was a God given, you know, and then you create more wish desires to work more on yourself, to give yourself this love, which cannot be, it's like a tattoo, this feels to me. Like it is stamped on your heart. You can't be, you can't, nobody can take this love from you ever again. It's not like a love that they can take and give and take and give and take and give, right? This love is within you all the time. So you know who you are. And then when you love yourself, you're going to want to create the best life possible for yourself. Living in luxury, health, well-being and being guided to create even more wealth. That is what I have for you. I hope um, this message finds you well. Thank you so much for listening to me. And until next time, make sure you see I eat well, cancer, and walk good on the earth. Take care. Love you.